Hey, this is Victor Antonio with the Sales Influence Podcast, continuing the conversation on the upside of a down market. How to sell through a recession. Now, one of my favorite, if I can say it this way, it sounds wrong, but one of my favorite things about a recession is that typically less people are going to be selling to the companies you're currently selling to. So, for example, this has happened to me. In the past, when I was going in to try to sell something to a company, you had about, I don't know, let's say 10 to 15 salespeople a month going after that one client. What happens is that during a recession, a lot of salespeople actually psych themselves out. What do I mean by that? They psych themselves out that they could, well, nobody's buying, so why even try? Nobody's gonna buy, nobody has the money, nobody has the budget, so why even try going after customers? And what happens is they psych themselves out, they don't continue to pursue clients, which means that less people are calling on these potential clients, which means this is good news for you because if less people are calling, the chances of you getting a meeting with the right buyer, right decision maker, increases. So again, when there's a recession, people drop out mentally. Sometimes the company folds. That's one way they drop out. But in many cases, the company's still around. Your competitor is still around. But again, the salespeople basically psych themselves out. Don't be one of those salespeople that sits there and go, you know, nobody's buying. Nobody's ever going to buy anything. Now's not a good time. Let's wait a couple of months. They don't have any money. They're not going to want to do anything right now. You kind of talk yourself into this. You rationalize this. Meanwhile, there's people like you and I who are going to stay positive, go after the business, and guess what you're going to find? Easier access to your clients because you're the only one making the call.